happened to this caught on camera? A Little League concession stand hit multiple times over the weekend by thieves, now scrambling to raise money for repairs before the start of the baseball season. Cairo 7's Michael Spears went to SeaTac, where the baseball fields have been left in the dark. Right now we're standing in the concession area. If we cut off our lights, we'd be left in darkness. There is no power. The Little League says the person who broke in cut the power, got in through this door. You can see the damage to the frame there. Stole electronics, they said, and even stole the food out of the freezer. They entered with a bang last Friday morning. In one clip, a person walks in with a bin and empties out a refrigerator. They eventually find the breaker box, cut the power, and the cameras go black. On his first trip through, he, he did something to the electrical system. It no longer works. To add insult to injury, Pac West Little League President Thaddeus said this concession stand was broken into again that same weekend. Their PA microphone surveillance system also stolen. Electrical wiring and copper water piping stripped and damaged from underneath a walkway that's being renovated. The Little League president said money made at this stand goes a long ways. This is how we make things affordable for kids. This is how we don't charge outrageous prices to play baseball. There's now concern about getting the lights back on, equipment replaced before the upcoming season begins. It's really frustrating because you want to ask these questions like who would do that? Why would we someone do that? Britta says her son yeah. has played here for years. I felt sad. Why? Because I was really looking forward to play um, kids pitch this year. As police investigate, the community is now rallying to save the upcoming season, raising thousands of dollars online for repairs. I just want to get the building back to where it needs to be and um, get the kids playing. You can see here one of the areas that will need to be fixed. The Little League says still trying to figure out what all was damaged, exactly how much it will cost, but they say money raised from the community will go towards making this place more secure. Reporting in SeaTac, I'm Michael Spears, Cairo 7 News.